How y'all doing tonight? How y'all doing? Hey, hey. So listen, I'm going to start in Chicago tonight. Uh, maybe not. Hold on. Let me see. I'm going to mix it up in there. We're going to talk about some things that has been going on in Memphis. As well as the police officer, the female police officer that got shot over the weekend. And the people who were arrested. A standoff and everything. To get the people who killed the young lady who was about to graduate from college. It's a tragedy. But crime is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I added a twist, didn't I? You know, her case struck a, a nerve with me because I thought there had been some cop killings and all over. This is a young lady. Young lady who had been on the force for three years had made it home. She, she was she was shot in her front yard multiple times by several people. So was it an ambush? Was it a robbery? Was it a hit? What was it? So you know when I started thinking like that, you already know. You already know, don't you? Yeah. So I waited all day to see how I was going to do what I do and see what was going to tap into my spirit, you know. But in the meantime, because the, the night has slipped by and I got me some smoked salmon, I just took off brawl and and put some fall on it, put some butter, and covered it up in fall with that butter. So let the butter fall where it may, you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, well, come on now, cause I'm sure after that, that's gonna, that's gonna put me to sleep. So let's go. But before I do, <laughs> can you hit the like button? I won't have to be stuck back stalling y'all out, you know, doing how the mother folk be doing. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, you know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Ladies, my, my uh, subscribers um, that are members. I will be having a Mother's Day drawing. So, I'm going to have to have two. One for my members who put in the comments. Okay, so, what's, what's the day? On Thursday, I'm going to give a word that has to be put in the comments section for my subscribers and it has to be subscribers that I recognize okay and I will have a a $25 drawing for the subscribers now for my members All my female members will automatically be entered into a $40 giveaway for Mother's Day. So $40 for my members, female members, and 
25 for the female subscribers who have the code word entered in the comments on Thursday. And I'll give that code word tomorrow. You know what? I'm going to give you the code word, but it doesn't go into effect. It has to be in the comments. Um, Thursday. When I tell you to put it in the comments on Thursday, and then I have the drawing on Friday. Okay? And the, and the code word is going to be for the love of mothers. For the love of mothers. It's going to be the code word on Thursday for Mother's Day giveaway for Friday. Okay? Y'all got it? For the love of mothers. For the love of mother. Because would none of us be here if it wasn't for a mother? <laughs> Why am I over here singing for the love of mothers? <laughs> for the love of mothers. <laughs> that butter done went down up in there. Y'all see that? Oh, yeah, I done been stamping. Uh, Y'all see how that butter done? Ooh. Irina Preston. Chicago police officer, 24 years old, murdered days before she was to graduate from law school, murdered in her front yard, early uh, morning hours. Beautiful young lady, beautiful, smart. It rings out because, you know, everything you hear about Chicago and the, the crime and, you know, it, it, it's there. But, you know, the young people this and the young people that and even some of the people that. I'm going to leave that alone. She was a total different representation of Chicago with the young people. Uh, so I thought out of all, out of all due respect. That I needed to touch bases on it, shine light to it. Above average, twenty-four-year-old young lady represents Chicago. Gun down in her front yard. Shot several times. Was it a hit? Was it was it you know, robbery? We'll find out soon, won't we? Mm. Shout out to Black Girls Lost. Astonishing. Just beautiful. Officer had just left work when she was shot to death early this morning in the Avalon Park neighborhood. I this was over the weekend. To speak with the family of this officer, who, as you might imagine, is completely shattered. <clears throat> I won't speak for uh, the mother, but I can tell you that. She poured everything that she could into her child. Can y'all hit the like button, please? You need to do exactly as I say. May the 6th. 24 year old, very intelligent, ambitious, hardworking, passionate, and loving young woman for years. Her goal was to make tech in her community as a Chicago police officer for the last three years. Her goal was to make a change on this earth and to show young people that policing is a profession that can make a difference in the community and on top of the world. Things were going really well for her. She had an amazing career and was set to graduate from Loyola University on May 13th with a Master's of Jurisprudence from the School of Law. Little did her friends, families, Chicago police were called to the 8100 block of South Blackstone Avenue 
in the Avalon part of the neighborhood on Chicago's south side were reports of multiple shots being fired. Upon arrival, they would find an unresponsive young woman lying in the front yard of the home, suffering from gunshot wounds. Eighty first and Blackstone. Often at about one forty this morning at eighty first and Blackstone Avenue, that is the Avalon Park neighborhood. Officers responded to a call of shots fired, and when they got to that address, they found the officer. Uh, she was off duty at the time, and she was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. The victim was identified as 24-year-old Ariana Preston, who was taken to the University of Chicago Hospital, where she was sadly succumbed to multiple gunshot wounds to the upper chest. Of gunshots were fired, with Ariana being left for dead just yards from her home. In the midst of the chaos, Ariana still managed to fire back three times. Oh, wow. And arriving off. Oh, wow. That's interesting because I thought I heard that her, 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 her weapon was missing. But let's keep listening. Let's keep listening. Let's listen together. It's the chaos. Ariana still managed to fire back three times. An arriving officer rendered aid, placed her into the back of a squad car, and took her to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where she is in releasing a lot of specifics about the case. Sources confirm that her service weapon was also stolen. That Police part. are still working to determine if area. So she let off three rounds, or three shots, rounds. But, so who, who took a gun? So the, so somebody came yeah specifics about the case sources confirm that her service weapon was also stolen police are still working to determine if ariana was targeted or perhaps the victim of a robbery after the shooting police went door to door to see if neighborhood smart doorbells and surveillance cameras caught any video of the shooters chicago police longer Safe for Chicago, where all of our residents can live and work free from the threat of violence. If the victim was targeted, or if this was a random robbery. So we're going to fast forward to today. SWAT situation linked to officer's death. There was a SWAT situation, y'all. Yes, indeed. Let's listen to the update. Process planned for Tuesday here at the 5th District Police Station. This while police continue to try and determine what led up to her killing. 24-year-old Ariana Preston, a three-year veteran of CPD, was shot and killed in her front lawn. She came home from work on Saturday morning. She died from multiple gunshot wounds. Community circumstances, but we do know we lost Community one. leaders. Chicago don't sleep. And someone either drove past, someone seen something, maybe they scared to say something. Community activist Jamal Green is offering a $5,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. Preston was set to graduate with her master's degree. We can get people talking. You know, we have a code of silence in these neighborhoods. You know, we want people to speak up. The shoot, you know, hopefully a reward can get people talking. You know, we have a code of silence in these neighborhoods. You know, we situation on Chicago's south side is now over. It ended just before four this morning after officers spent more than seven hours on the scene. Can y'all hit the like button for me? I'll wait. Thank you.
some breaking news and a SWAT situation on Chicago's south side is now over. It ended just before four this morning after officers spent more than seven hours on the scene. Multiple police sources tell us the incident is related to the rec recent killing of an off-duty Police officer, NBC 5's Lisa Chavarria is live out. When we left the scene, we saw officers that were still processing that home. They were going inside. We saw them upstairs on that second floor. This was after that more than seven and a half hour SWAT situation that happened in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. Here's what we know so far. I want you to go ahead and take a look at this. This is it's what grimy. we were That's able to footage. capture just before 3.30 this morning. Now, the video is grainy, so we're freezing it. But you can see a person walking out into the street their hands with up. their hands up. Mm -hmm. Chicago police officers and a SWAT team came to this home on Bishop and 76th in Auburn Gresham around 7.30, excuse me, 8.30 last night. A police source told us one person was taken into custody last night. And again, we saw another person surrender to police around 3.30 this morning. So that's about seven hours into the SWAT situation. Now, multiple police sources tell NBC5 that this is related to the recent killing of an off-duty Chicago police officer. That officer was Ariana Preston. She was shot and killed early Saturday morning in the Avalon Park neighborhood. Police say that she was shot shortly after she had gotten off of work. This was just one person was taken into custody from that SWAT situation in Auburn Gresham last night. Then we saw another person surrendering to police at 3.30 this morning. We're still not yet been charged. And so four people, hold on. Sources tell the I team those four people have not yet been charged and some or all are said to be juveniles. Late last night, our cameras mm. captured. I the told y'all they was there. SWAT team surrounding a home near 76th and Bishop. Sources telling DVD detectives had some cooperation from potential witnesses to the encounter with Good, officer. somebody Preston. talk. Police sources have told the ABC 7i team. The witnesses helped direct investigators to two men and two women who they now have arrested following a lengthy SWAT standoff. 24 year old Preston, a three year veteran of the Chicago Police Department, was shot and killed in her. Sources we know four people are now in custody. Some of them are believed to be involved in several armed robberies. In the hours leading up to Officer Preston's death, one of them was driving the car. The other is an 18-year-old who was arrested after a SWAT situation that went through the night. Now, take a look, because this is video of that scene over in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. You can see dozens of officers and Lots of squad cars at 77th and Bishop. The hours-long standoff started around 8.30 last night and wrapped up just before 4.30 this morning. Police sources tell us an 18-year-old was taken into custody shortly after leaving that home. Again. We are still working to gather more information from Chicago police and from our police there source. Some of those. More information from Chicago police and from our police there source. Some of those suspects were arrested in the backseat of an Uber Sunday night. Whoop. And there's a lot to sort through here as some of these murder suspects are also I'm linked to at least one robbery that happened right before the shooting. He's As old. for that Uber... So... They done called an Uber and got into an Uber and involving now the Uber driver in something that they have no idea. <sighs> Uber driver, he was not physically hurt, understandably. He was shaken up and he explains to us how it all unfolded.
This video taken by an Uber driver who doesn't want to be identified shows the moments after two of his passengers were taken into custody Sunday night around 7.30. Police reports say at least one passenger was wanted in connection with the murder of Chicago police officer Ariana Preston. A gun was recovered and it's unclear a gun was recovered and it's unclear if it's the same weapon used to kill Preston. The officer who had been on the job for just three years was shot and killed early Saturday morning. I'm just, uh, sitting in. I'm just the Uber driver. I, I mean I don't know what's going on. All I saw like a minute after that was lights and police uh, personnel jumping down from their cars, you know, coming to, surrounding my car front and back with their guns pointed at, at my vehicle. According to police reports, CPD surveillance teams were monitoring the murder suspect who got into an Uber near 76th and Bishop. The driver says yeah, be careful out there. minute heavily armed officers surrounded his car. Other suspects connected to the shooting were also taken into custody near 76th and Bishop after a SWAT standoff in a building. I'm just wondering how I kind of found myself in this kind of situation. Chicago police quickly linked this red car to Preston's homicide. The car was later found torched and abandoned near 73rd and Everhart. Ooh, that's heavy, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end it here so that I can make sure to try my best to get this uploaded tonight. And then we'll meet back up in Memphis. Is that all right? Praying for her family. The God. Oh, my goodness. That's just so sad. Condolences to the family. Rest in peace. Hey, the book of these